ANZ and Ostcham Laos hosted annual ANZ Economic Outlook Series 2023 on the 10th of February in Vientiane, where speakers shared ANZ on challenges and opportunities ahead of for Laos and ASEAN in the current global geopolitical climate, the vital five reforms to secure macroeconomic stability in the Lao PDR. The annual ANZ Economic Outlook Series 2023, The Rise of Southeast Asia in the Year of the Water Rabbit, featured insights from the two speakers, Kun Go, Head of Asia Research, ANZ on the challenges and opportunities ahead for Laos and ASEAN in the current global geopolitical climate, and Pedro Martins, World Bank Senior Country Economist for Lao PDR on the vital five reforms to secure macroeconomic stability in the Lao PDR. According to ANZ Laos country head Mr. Sheng Li, ANZ first international bank to operate in Laos entered the Laos market in 2007 when we acquired Vientiane Commercial Bank. The bank is the largest Australian company operating in Laos and supports multinational companies and subsidiaries whose ANZ already bank within the ANZ network. Well, earlier, in the past, Mr. Sheng Li said, adding that being an international bank, we are fortunate to gain access to global insights. And we share these insights to help our clients make informed decisions about their business and to be able to expand on the sharing of current insights about global economic developments and how these developments impact our region and in particular Laos. Also, the economic environment has changed quite considerably. World Bank senior country economist Mr. Pedro Martins highlighted about reforms roadmap to support the implementation of the national agenda. According to him, five vital reforms are proposed cutting costly tax exemptions to raise public revenue and protect social spending, improving the governance of public and public-private investment and of state-owned enterprises, restructuring public debt through ongoing negotiations, strengthening financial sector stability through legal and regulatory tools, and lastly, improving the business environment and promoting exports through effective regulatory reform. My name is Kun Go. I'm Head of Asia Research for ANZ and I'm based in Singapore. Uh, I'm here to present the outlook for the regional as well as the Lao economy at uh, today's seminar. Uh, the outlook for this year is definitely looking a lot better compared to a very challenging uh, 2022. Uh, we're expecting the Lao economy to pick up and achieve growth of around 3.9%. I think importantly as well, we are expecting inflation, which was very high in Laos last year, uh, to start to come down uh, to average around 10% uh, for 2023. Uh, there's a few key factors behind our forecast. I think importantly, um, the China reopening story is very positive for growth in China, which will have positive spillover effects uh, for the region. Uh, on top of that, uh, the U.S. Federal Reserve is almost done hiking interest rates. Uh, that has pushed the U.S. dollar weaker and that has been quite significant in helping to stabilize the KIP. Uh, and we are, do expect the KIP to appreciate modestly, which will help to take a lot of the inflation pressure off this year. This economic update features a thematic section on the export for jobs, which shows the labor market remains characterized by high informality reliance on public sector jobs, and a large number of agricultural workers who face seasonal demand. The lack of high-quality formal jobs means that the country's previous economic growth did not reduce poverty as much as expected, while inequality rose. Well, the Thai baht has been uh, very, very strong so far in the last few months. In fact, it's one of the strongest performing Asian currency, uh, which is why the KIP, even though it has uh, strengthened against uh, the dollar, it has still lost ground against uh, the baht. But it's principally because of a uh, purely baht story. The Thailand is very dependent on tourism, and we started to see tourism numbers rebound strongly. And with the China reopening, I think that's given a lot of optimism about uh, the Thai economy, hence uh, the outperformance of the baht. Now, in terms of you know what can uh, the government Government do to continue to ensure that the Lao economy can grow and prosper. Um, look, I think there's uh, certainly a 
huge, uh, some amount of uh, economic reforms to trying to make Laos attractive as an investment destination. Uh, you know, Laos has uh, several competitive advantage. Uh, for example, uh, natural resources, uh, renewable energy uh, generation, and exporting that capacity. Uh, I think there's certainly a lot more that can be uh, ex uh, explored in that area. Uh, and you know, Laos has been quite successful in attracting uh, investment into that arena. I mean, this year the monsoon project, for example, will start um, construction, uh, exporting uh, power to Vietnam. So I think uh, there's no shortage of positivities around Laos. The question is whether or not uh, you know enough uh, reform momentum can be done to really unlock the potential. The outlook also provides recommendations on how to boost exports in manufacturing commercial agriculture and services, so as to raise revenue, increase productivity and create jobs. Well, my name is Sheng Li. I am the country head um, of ANZ Laos. Um, I'm also the president of AUSCHAM, the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The Australian Chamber of Commerce was established in September 2005 as the first foreign chamber of commerce in the Lao PDR. AUSCHAM Laos was set up to represent Australian and New Zealand business interests to government and non-government agencies in Laos, whilst delivering a range of services to its members. Yeah, so the purpose of today's um, uh, session is actually to provide the private sector um, with the current update and insight on global economic developments um, and also how they flow onto regional needs and, and also what's happening here in Laos. AUSCHAM Lao membership is now from many different countries and spans companies in a diverse range of industries including mining, agriculture, banking, tourism, UXO clearance, consumer goods distribution, hospitality and hydropower and we continue to see more interest in membership with AUSCHAM from other sectors. For, for our outlook, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a positive outlook, albeit it's, it still um, has to be quite measured. Um, if we think about, you, you talk about um, in inflationary pressures and, and currency devaluations. You know, at, using one example with China reopening, you know, we're we already starting to see anecdotally more travellers uh, come into Laos. And, and that will only benefit the economy, bring in much needed um, foreign currencies, um, and then help improve the overall um, health of the economy. Um, so, you know, whilst we are certainly not out of the woods yet, um, we certainly view that this year is, is a big improvement from last year um, and that there's more positive aspects to, to be considering. And as to being from Australia or New Zealand, AusCham Lao welcomes everyone to what it sees as a growing and exciting business community here in the Lao PDR.